Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another video here in Warner. So it's territory defense right now. Uh, it's Crown War right now, but we just not we're not organized enough to be going for it yet. So I mean, we could honestly, especially since in BB's going after it, but I just don't think it's a good time for us to be going for it. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to say when we will be going for it, but uh, this is territory defense, I believe, right? Is this territory? I think this is territory defense. We're doing that right now And I want to do a video showing you guys how how I do it I'm not gonna say this is like how everybody should do it or give you some like exact strategy But basically I split my groups into marches of four since that's how many marches I have if you have uh, Say you have three marches split your troops into groups of three and basically I got number five set as my uh, for March for like territory defense and everything like that. So Basically you reinforce against these monsters Minotaurs rock rock giants fire demons Then then it gets harder each time that you go I think I did a video on a while ago. It was like a short video just kind of showing things I'll just show you this time how I how I do it each time now. I don't know if it eats up my um, beast act or beast stamina when I send it to these, so I don't send my beast yet. Once it gets harder, that's when I'll save it for my beast. So uh, I do like this right here. See the pest block? That's when you can you can um, you can turn off your notifications if someone's bothering you. Hopefully, you can just turn it off for that person, not everybody. Reinforce, guys, guys. Yeah, we're working on that castle level 29 now. We got our drill grounds going up. Uh, next, I'm going to get the wall. I almost have enough in my depot to get the wall done. And then I've already got the food. Um, I've got a lot of the iron and stone in my depot. I just really got to go grab some wood. I need a little bit more wood. Um, probably like 60 million wood to finish it up. So here, look, you can watch the battles as well. So you can see we've got 188,000 mages. I believe those would be the offensive mage. And we got 78,000 defensive mage. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we'll take it out. We got a good bit of infantry there. 72,000 infantry. Beautiful. That's what we need right there. See, guys, having a lot of infantry is good in your attacks because then while the troops or the monster or whatever is hitting your infantry, your mage just go to town. And the mage have low defense and health and everything. So, if basically, if you're... The way it works is that if you're basically if your front line dies and you have no just like in COK like if you're you know Berserk or die your archers are gonna be weaker and they're gonna die easier well it's the same thing here uh, but you can actually see it in action here which is a good that's one of the best parts about this game is that yeah they don't have real-time decision-making yet but you can at least see what happens in the battles so then you can base your layers off of uh, what you see so that's a pretty cool cool part about it. Alright, we're about to have two monsters land at the same time. When they when there's two at the same time, it's a little harder because not everybody has multiple marches, so they can't all send to the same one. See we got more troops coming in now, two marches coming in. Got 130,000 of each mage. Offensive and defensive. The ones on the right with blue are the defensive. You can see the blue uh, things going at them. And then on the left are the offensive mage, like the T7 and the T9. The ones on the right are like the T8. You see we're getting more and more troops in here. So we're going to take him out. I love how you can watch battles unfold in this uh, in this game. So this one here, we got 299,000 mages on that one. That's uh. It's a lot of mage. We should be able to make it decently far. Now I wish more people would show up for these. Hold on a second. I just I just thought of something. When I have it like that, I bet it's way too loud. <laughs> Probably blowing people's ears out, or you can't even hear me talk. So now we're waiting on the next next wave to come through. Uh, as far as the realms concerned, guys, we're gonna be zeroing some people soon. Uh, we want to take out a lot of the problems and the enemy alliances that keep coming back, hitting farms and stuff. We were able to take care of, so basically let me tell you how it works. In War and Order, if you create a battle action by troops being home, then you have at least like 10 seconds to react. And then they can't recall. So what we're doing now in our farms, we're leaving 20 or 30,000 troops 
so that way if they come to attack the troops they can't just hit them and then recall if we reinforce no 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 they're gonna have to be there for a minute so leaving troops in your castles is actually really smart in this game like in cok you never want to leave troops in your castles because they're just gonna get killed and it don't even matter but in this game having extra troops is a good thing so unless you're okay here we go we got wait why let's make sure this is where i'm already at check defenses okay i'm already in that one i must be already in all these because they didn't send my troops home i'm already in that one and it'll move up to four five six even more um more marches at the same time see that one's got a ton of people in it hell yeah we don't even have a lot of our players on right now and especially a lot of our big players so hopefully we still do all right as long as we get at least that many in each time we'll be fine but basically now cha can what cha has been doing is they've been sending all t2 cavalry so that way if we do speed reinforce they can just uh recall real fast or if they do hit then they they're not going to lose much they're just going to lose farm they're hitting it from their own farms they're hitting our farms from their own farms so i was thinking and if i wanted to i could take a farm maybe like a level 15 farm with um three marches on it and i could go take it around the map hitting farms and then just reinforce from my main castle onto that castle so that it can't get hit and then if i lose the farm troops no big deal i'll just retrain them but i'll get way more resources out of it that i'm going to lose in those troops so that's an idea let me know what you guys think about that i thought it was pretty crafty and i could just have a couple alliance members and myself reinforce it i think it would work great all right guys so we're only on round two now so a lot of you you guys know that i learn a lot of the things about these games from you guys i don't have as much time as i used to oh we got one going on here to learn these things uh that looks frozen or something so here come the troops okay so that one did battle but i think the battle's over so if you guys know anything that i don't about these events like give me any tips and stuff please share in the comment section that's how i learn things you know what we're almost up to three million power let's go ahead and speed that along there we're going to get some more mage that should that should do it right there oh three million power pretty cool pretty cool okay here we go these should be up oh, they're already done oh no they're not they're about to hit now then we should be on to round three round three gets a little harder by the time we get to round six through eight it gets a lot harder oh wrong one here we go there we go all right we got 272,000 mage offensive 97,000 mage defensive 64,000 defense or offensive archer and 73,000 defensive archer now we got over 300,000 mage and pretty good amounts of infantry so now we're down to just the cavalry so it goes infantry cavalry archer mage and you want to keep those mage alive We've got Pegasus, a panda, and a dragon in there as well. I did not send mine because it's not needed yet. Is that that one? Okay, here we go. So we got 300,000 on this one as well. So we got troops all over the place. It said Lancelot retreated. I'm not sure why. Maybe he's going to the next one. He knows that one's already defeated. perfect 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 so after this i'm gonna go to retreat all my troops then i'm gonna resend so if i need to heal or what i need to do i can i can resend let's go ahead and uh oops we're not trading any guardian samples let's go ahead and my panda's not that high level yet because i didn't see i've got a bunch of these uh these beast pills too i'm gonna open all those up in a video Let's go ahead and okay see now this is where it gets a little tougher because you've got four of them that you've got to defend at the same time this is where i've got four marches coming in hand so at the very least hopefully my troops can stall 
the monster long enough for the rest of the alliance to get there. Because like I said, most of these guys might only have two, maybe three marches at the most. So it's a good event though. I I like I like the event. Wait a second here. Okay, yeah, we got on that. On the fourth march, you can just send whatever you have left. Like, cause I believe in the other ones I had like seventy thousand, but in that one, let's check. I think, yeah, my main march just had twenty five thousand. I must have messed up. On the fourth march, it only had fifty, but it's good enough. We got more people getting online here. Um, looks like Prince just got on. We need everyone to help. So, I know one strategy, the most important thing for these events is to get all your members online at the same time. It's really hard for us because we have such a diverse um, group of people from all over the world. So it's a little harder for us to time something that's going to be good for everybody. But um, for a lot of you, you can get your whole alliance on and that's what's really going to win it. If you've got numbers like that, I mean you could fill every flag up with a million troops and you're going to make it very, very far in the event. So. Everyone Tell them to split it up that way we can tell what we're I'd like to have equal numbers in each one and equal power does that make sense rather than um, having five people send all their troops to one and then five people send all their troops to the other i'd rather everybody so 20 people send one fourth of their troops to each does that make sense so i think that's a lot does a lot better that way by the way guys my new pc just arrived today i got the pc got the um got the monitor i've got everything there so pretty stoked about that uh i'm ready to start taking youtube really really seriously and I'm not going to be missing any videos any days. If this channel is going to be like a hub for all mobile war games. And then I'm going to be having a... Um, here we go. Let's go into another battle. And then I'm going to be having a second channel for other games that I play. Like Rust and any other like uh, PC games. So it's going to be pretty fun stuff. Hopefully you guys will subscribe to my other channel as well. Hell yeah, we're really putting the beat down on these monsters here. We got a lot of people in here. You can see at the top, all that blue. You can see how much, uh... And see people are joining afterwards. Let's go here. There we go. And we got this one processing as well. Some of them glitch out like this, but you can see we're winning. We're not winning by a lot, but we're winning. This is the one that I didn't have as many troops in, too. So. And it was the fourth one down. So you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start sending all my main march, like my 75,000 march, to the bottom one to make sure that we win that one because there's not as many people in it. Okay, so we can withdraw from that. We can withdraw from that. We can withdraw from that. So you can see this is the only one still processing. We do have 246,000 mage left, but look, we have no front line left, and we're down to 9%. Look how fast it chops through these archers once it gets there. Oh, we got people showing up now. See, look, now we've got infantry, cavalry. Hell yeah, good job, guys. So that's how you do it. You, uh, you want to have, okay, here we go. So we've got, so we're going to send our main march to that one with a hero, with the panda. I call it a hero. I'm used to see okay, of course. Oops. That's why I messed up. I pressed one on one of them, I bet. Because see, one has got different troops in it. Um, one is my one, one third march I use on monsters. Did I, I got anyone there yet? Okay. Did I got anyone there yet? There we go. And then I needed one in the third one, right? Boom. Perfect. So what do you guys think of this event? I think it's a I think it's a pretty good event. 
I like it a lot. It's uh, it's fun. It's way funner than the Dragon Campaign in COK. And like, it's just way more interactive. I don't know. It's just different in my opinion. So is this one check defenses? See, the one other thing I like about this is hovers the biggest Hall of War in here. It uses your Hall of War. So mine's 950,000 Hall of War. And it's, I think my hall is still 27. I need to upgrade it to level 28 yet. I will if we do a crown war. But you can see, you can see that we're starting to get slimmer pickings in some of these. Oh, one of them is processing. It's not bad. We got 302,000 um, offensive mage and 160,000 defensive mage. I think we'll do all right. I don't, I don't even think I've got any buffs on either. I usually keep my buffs on. I got HP bonus on. I usually keep my buff buffs on 24-7. That way I don't got to go mess with them if I need to reinforce someone. So. Oh, we got another one. Where's that? Okay, now that's the one that's not working. There's that one. This is one I've only got. Okay, now I got two troops in this. I hate when it doesn't. When it like lags out like that. There, see? You can watch it from like that. Or you can like zoom in. When I zoom in, though, it's... Okay, there we go. That panda's covering up how many maids we have. I think we have 300,000. See how much harder it's getting, though? We need more and more. And, see, here's a cool part about it. Say these, some people lose their whole march. You can retreat and send it back. How far away are people? Why is it taking people so long? There we go. We got someone showing up. Nope, they're going to a different one. See, why are they going to that one? Oh, okay, yeah. I guess two of them are going at the same time. Okay, we're about to beat this one, though. Such a good event. I like to, you know what? Next time this event goes on, I'm gonna live stream it because it'd be fun to talk to you guys while I actually play the event. So, you know what? I'm gonna cut this one off here because I don't want to. Or, you know what? I don't know. If you guys don't want to watch it anymore, you don't have to. Let's see how we'll go a little longer. We'll go a little longer. I don't, I don't like making too long of videos, but I feel like we need to get at least past level three. You know what, guys? I'll make a part two of this. If you want to see the part two, click in the description. Part two will be down there. Thanks so much for watching. Teamwork makes dreamwork. Smash the thumbs up before you go, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.